Hi right, guys, welcome to my channel. In this video today we're going to be trying something different. I'm so excited as you can see. I'm going to be trying out yarn using, I'm going to be braiding my hair using the yarn and the needles. I've seen this stylist. She's called Eva Mafut. My football, something like that. I'll link the video in here in my video, um, so you can check it out. She's absolutely amazing with the style she comes out with just the yarn and the needles. Would you like to try this? I'm going to be trying it the first time, guys. So let me know if you're going to try it out. Let's see how it's going to work, guys. Let's get started. And if you're new, consider subscribing consider liking my videos i thank you very much for all for liking my videos for subscribing for my videos and for subscribing to my channel guys it's so amazing to have you thank you for stopping by and watch my video and give them a like and give them thumbs up and everything so let's get started so i've got my hair freshly washed conditioned a bit of stretch uh, if you like to see how I stretch my hair without heat, comment down, I'll show you that. And uh, so I've got my hair in two or four sections, as you can see. So I'm going to be starting with this one on the back. Okay, guys, it's my first time trying this, so we're going to see how it's going to work with braiding my hair with just the yarn and the needles i bought these needles on ab you can get them in um, amazon i bought this one in a um, second hand shop it's massive as you can see i won't even use all of it it was cheap why not i grabbed it for my hair and the lady in the shop she's waiting to see how i use this for my hair because she says you can do that for your hair i said yes so I have to get my hair done with this wool and I have to go back in that shop about it and show her what this wool did. The amazing wool that she had in the shop. She didn't know why it she saw it was just for knitting and things like sweater, jumpers, things like that. But it can also go in my hair. So I'm going to be having it in my hair and I go back and show her. Let's get started guys. So be happy more. Get the job done. Get the braids on. Right. Chop missing down. So the color of the needle I'll be using today. Come on. Which color, guys? What do you think? Which color? What's your favorite color? Papo. Where? My favorite. What's your favorite? needle color and what's it about the wool color you're going to be using so i'll get my wool in there it's a plastic needle as well for safeness it's blank on the end there it's blank so you're not scared it's going to hurt you anything but you still need to use it with care so you hook your need put your yarn in that needle like that and this bit here is going to go on my hair i'm going to try and use my finger i think like that like i say i'm trying it first time so Right guys, so I've put my yarn in my needle. I've already done this one. This one here. It's quite hard to do in the back on your on yourself. Um so I'll try and show you how through the second one. But 
I may have to show you how to do the front one because it's much better when you do the front one maybe it's quite hard to do it on yourself remember so let's see how it goes let's do the back so I've insert my yarn in between my two pieces like that guys and pull it this strand in front and remain with this much you don't have to put too long so I'll start by braiding the first one I'll make a knot like that I'll use my fingers to guide me on a on a line so as the braid goes it makes like a nice braid okay so now now that I've made a knot on there you see my hair I parted it in two pieces so it's easier to manage so this is where I'll be if I braid from this side I'll stop here then I'll pull then I'll braid this side and stop here then that would make the braid that would create the braid nice style if that makes sense guys it's quite hard to explain so I'll use my thumb to guide me where to stop so I can go the other side so I uh, will make sure you you braid so close to the first stitch so it makes that nice tight so I set my finger this finger in there so I don't know where to stop and I braid this side so I stop there see and make sure your needle comes behind this yarn like that then you pull okay so then I'll go I use my finger remember I'm using this finger to guide me where to stop in the middle then I pull then I'll go back this side I'm just using my fingers to guide me because you don't pull the you don't push the needle through all the way there in you stop in the middle like that so it makes that pattern so I use my finger again to you tell me yeah. it's quite hard to explain why you're doing it um, and I've gone a bit far out that way. Yeah. So I'll put my finger there. So I know where I'm slicing there, I know where I'm stopping the middle. And I'll pull. And I'll go this side and feel where the, the other yarn has stopped and insert the needle of the middle remember don't go all the way to the other end make sure your stitches are so close and then so this finger guides in the middle where to stop when you break from this side like this. My thumb is guiding me there, stop there. Just use your finger to guide you. And when you pull the when the, when you insert in it like that, make sure to stop there in the middle. And when you pull, make sure the needle the thread comes behind this thread. So I'll keep going guys then you keep watching like I say it's my first time trying this style so we see how it goes especially when you're doing it on yourself 
This dish is amazing. She does lots of styles with yarn and needle. It's amazing. So I'll be introducing them to my clients soon. The needle and the yarn, especially the people with short hair. It's just so much easier. And they can't have other styles in. But with this yarn, they can have the style I shot here. Oh, see, guys, they keep going. The bread is forming. So I'm going to keep going, guys, because I need to use my mirror. So I will show you when it's up. Alright, guys, this is how far we are. Um. As you can see, the braid is forming. So, guys, are you going to try this style? Let me know in a comment. Thank you guys for stopping by and watching my videos. If you don't know how to corner, this could be a great idea as well for you. So. Like I say, it's my first time to do this. I watched this stylist doing it and I say I'll have to have a go. It's so good. So you just keep using your needles to slice the hair as well. So you don't have to stop and use the comb. And remember you don't go all the way up the end you stop in the middle there and when you stop in the middle there you make sure this thread is behind this thread so it creates that braid nice and see now guys right I'm going to use my mirror I'm going to stop there a bit and use my mirror as you can see the braid is for me guys let me know what you think if you're going to try this I'll be introducing to my clients soon and I'm going to keep going then I'll show you later okay guys all right I've done two of them I can see can you see can you see first time doing the yarn and the sled the yarn and the needle, the yarn and the needle. What do you think, guys? Can I see that? Look at that. And my arms. Tired and it's just two braids done. I need to do two more. I'm going to be here the whole day, isn't it? But I'm going to love it. Yan and then it do. Where is my yarn? Oh, I'm on my back. Them. Two. You don't know how to corner. You don't know how to braid. Grab yourself a yarn and needles. And you will have braids like that. So are you going to book it? Are you excited to have your hair done like that? Go on. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, guys. I'm just going to go do this before I go to school to get uh, 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 uh. I'm so excited to see how it's going to turn up. Then, guys, the end bit, this. I will sort it out and you're going to see how it's going to come out with I'm going to think if I'm going to braid it or if I'm going to twist it I'm going to do something about it. keep watching we've got to do something we're going to do something here see that guys it's not looking so bad for the first time isn't it nah. try it out if you don't know how to braid you don't know how to corner get the yarn and the, and the what is it get the yarn and the needle and you'll make your get your braids done. Look at that. And I'm going to sort the bits out. 
with either bread you can style it different ways actually you can curl it you can do a nice ponytail with it when you finish you can do you can put a piece as well on top when you finish guys i've seen everybody putting a piece different styles you can do all sorts but i'm going to crack one and see which one i'm going to be using on mine and of course i'll have to share with you what has come out Get good dancing. Get the hair done, Jolly. No dancing. Whoa. Stop. Right, guys. So, this is the finished look. So, my yarn and the needle. Okay, guys. Do you like it, guys? Are you going to try? Let me know in a comment. When I finished braiding them, I twisted them. I got a few strands of the wool like right that and twist to make a strand so I can have a band. Which I came out to this band, cute band. You guys like it? Let me know in the comment. You want to try it out? The yarn and the needle? Just, especially if you don't know how to braid corn or this could be a good idea. See now, guys? The yarn and the needle, and it came out this. You see, as I can see, it's my first time. Definitely, I'll be trying it again in the maybe better next time, more better now. But for the first time, I think we've done very well. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you for liking my video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for giving likes on my pages. It means a lot. I have to go. Okay, guys. I have to go to pick the pen at school. So I had to put the big ones on so it can be quicker. But this is style, guys. Let me see. Thank you guys. I'll see you in my another video. Let me know if you're going to try this yarn and you need to braid your hair. Okay guys, you have a blessed day. Thank you everyone.